And now, The Last Word with Rick Casey. It's been 10 years since we buried Mari Maverick Jr., one of San Antonio's great characters. As a lawyer, he represented the most unpopular of people. He won a U.S. Supreme Court case on behalf of John Stanford, a San Antonio bookseller who was an official of the Communist Party. He represented, with help from his young protege, Jerry Goldstein, famous atheist Madeline Murray O'Hare. Goldstein says that when the two of them went to meet Ms. O'Hare, she greeted them with, thank God for the ACLU. As a state legislator, Mari opposed racist Jim Crow laws in the 50s and other attacks on civil liberties. He once killed a bill that authorized the death penalty for anyone convicted of being a communist. His method? He inserted an amendment providing life imprisonment for merely being suspected of being a commie. As a Sunday columnist for the San Antonio Express News, Mari delighted in generating angry mail with his political observations. His funeral at Trinity University's beautiful chapel included a wonderful eulogy by San Antonio's most renowned poet, Naomi Shihab Nye. He recruited her to do the task as only he could, with a phone call years before his death. Ms. Nye, he began, this is Mari Maverick. I'd like you to do the eulogy at my funeral. Naomi's response, well, Mr. Maverick, don't you think I should meet you first? Mari was a great storyteller. I'd like to pass on two of his that he didn't tell as often as some of the others. Uh, please forgive my attempts at his voice. Mari was one of 72 candidates on the ballot in 1961 to replace Lyndon Johnson in the U.S. Senate. LBJ had moved up to the vice presidency. Gearing up for his race, Maverick said he turned to Texas's other senator, Ralph Yarbrough, for advice. I said, Ralph, what do I say to them crackers in East Texas when they ask my position on race? He said, he put his arm around me and he said, la, Maury, la. <laughs> Maury was, he was the great grandson of Sam Maverick, a land speculator and signer of the Texas Declaration of Independence, whose refusal to brand his cattle led to today's use of the term Maverick. He was also the son of Maury Maverick Sr., a New Deal congressman and one of San Antonio's greatest mayors. Mari Sr. also gave us a word. When he was in Congress, he coined gobbledygook to describe bureaucratic English. Mari Jr. told a lot of stories about his father. Here's my favorite. My dad wasn't much for religion. He, I think he was a pantheist, but he loved to go to different church services. He took me one time to a friend's meeting, Quaker meeting. You know, everybody sits there silent, and then a, a leader gets up and asks people to share their meditations. And, one old boy gets up and says he's been thinking about how we need to love everybody. Another says he's been contemplating about how we need to pray for world peace. My daddy, he shifted his, I think he had to go to the bathroom. The leader says, Mr. Mayor, we'd be pleased to hear your meditations. And I thought, no, no. The leader says, Mr. Mayor, we'd be honored if you would share your reflections. My father again says, no. But the leader kept on, and finally my father, he stood up and he said, well, to tell you God's honest truth, I've been sitting here thinking about how somebody ought to kill that son of a bitch, Joe McCarthy. Mari, it seems, came by his politics honestly. And that's it for Texas Week. See you next time.